So we start with the last advanced most animal phylum, which is represented as phylum chordata. The chordates are the most evolved group of animal phylum, which is subdivided in four distinct subphylum. They are Hemichordata, they are Urochordata, they are Cephalochordata, and the last category goes to Phylum Vertebrata. As we say, chordates, chordates are most specialized because of notochord. They possess notochord in any part of their life cycle or in persistent form, so they are classically called as chordates. The first group of the chordates are supposed to be hemichordates. Hemichordates body is supposed to be a flickering tailed organism where supposed to be three distinct parts are located in the body surface. Head, collar and the rest part goes to trunk. As we believe the chordates, Hemichordates are the primary group of chordates which are supposed to be a connecting link between the last group of the invertebrates and the first group of the higher chordates. Hemichordates have been followed by a very important group of the next higher organism which are supposed to be eurochordates. Their body is like this, where this is secular bodied organism, the body is supported by a covering, we call it taste or tunic. The whole body is supported by a large pharyngeal basket with a number of stigmata or gill slits. Here the water inlet point is identified as oral siphon where the outer ejecting out point is atrial siphon through which water can go out. The next group of organisms seems to be cephalochordate. This is a group of organism with persistent notochord. This animal is having like this type of body, fish-like structure, and here is a permanent replaced straightway directed notochord which is extended from head to tail tip, supported by v shaped muscles or you call them as myotomes, very unique in nature. This is oral hood, supported by very fine flickering whisker like structures. We call them as buccal sirai. So these animals are the last group of the classical chordates. But under any situations, the hemi, euro, and the cephalochordates, they are chordates by nature, but they never exhibit any trace of vertebral color. So they are all called as protochordata or invertebrate chordates. The next most specialized chordate group is vertebrata. They possess well-defined vertebral column and distinct cranium, so they are also called as craniata. They are subdivided under two superclass. Obviously, they are agnatha without jaws and they are nathostomata with jaws. Agnathans exhibit a special type of class. We call them as cyclostomata. Circular mouth aperture present in the whole body structure with isocircle tail, naked gill slits present, skins are obviously moist and without any trace of scale like structures. And this is a very interesting point that here you are getting single median nostril, unique most feature. It is followed by the most specialized groups of organisms within Nathostomata, which starts first with chondrichthys. 
the fishes with cartilaginous endoskeleton and next followed by ostrich fish the fishes possessing bony endoskeleton so this is in the cartilage containing fishes and they seem to be bony fishes obviously so one can easily identify the chondrichthyan group of organisms are having naked gill slits at the same time they are having heterocircal tail one part of the tail is big and the other is small on the other hand the ostrichthyan body is covered with mucogenic spherical or sharp margined scales gills covered by distinct operculum and the tail seem to be homocircal or into some extent diphy circle in nature thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net